Hi everybody! Today we're here to talk about distractions and keeping our eyes focused on God. In the Bible, in Psalms 119.15, it says, I will meditate on your precepts and fix my eyes on your ways. Hmm, I love that song. Fix my eyes. Oh, hi guys, hi guys. Um, how about if we play in just a little while? I'm oh. I'm super busy right now, okay? We'll play later. Oh. All right. So sorry about that. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Hey, okay, where was I? All right. Fixing my eyes on him, focusing on God. All right, sorry about all those distractions, guys. Uh, hold, hold on a minute. Hey, yeah, exactly. I know, I know, I'm kind of a little, what? No way. Are you serious? Tell me more. Wait, no, what? Real, oh, oh, hey, hey, the cupcakes are going to burn. I got to go. I'll talk to you later. Oh, wait, what? What time is it? I have an appointment. I, I've got to go. Oh my goodness, I have so much going on. What is happening here? Help, Calcon, take me away. Wait a minute. I, I just need to refocus right now. You know, we live in such a busy world. There's so many distractions all around us and they're not necessarily bad distractions. There's just a lot going on. In order to have our devotion time with God, we need to kind of set it up for success. I personally am not a morning person. So doing my devotions early in the morning, that's not going to happen. I'm going to be getting up. I'm going to be getting ready for work. I'm going to be running and running and running around. And I'm going to be rushing through my devotion time with God. That's not what God wants us to do. What the Bible says in Psalms 46.10, Be still and know that I am God. You know, First of all, we need to just hush. We need to be quiet. We need to have that quiet time with him. The creator of the universe wants to have words with us, but he really can't talk to us if we're always going and going and going. We need to chill and we need to listen. During our quiet time with God, when we get rid of all the distractions that are going around during the day, it gives us time to actually hear what he's saying. Just like our phones, if we're out and about and we don't have good reception, we can't really hear what's going on. But when we take all the distractions away and we have that quiet time with God, we can hear what he's telling us. We can hear what he's showing us and which direction to go, which way to turn, what he wants us to do next. So I encourage you guys to set up your devotion time for success. Set a time in the day like mine at nighttime before I go to bed to have some time, quiet time in your closet, in your war room, wherever it is that you have your time with God. Set that time up aside just for you and God to listen to what he has for you. Get rid of anything else that might be taking your time away from him during that time. So today, let's think about when we can have our devotions with God. Think about putting everything else aside because as we're giving things up and spending more time with God, you're taking things away and you're adding more time with him, whether it's worship time, whether it's your devotion time. We're almost done with our 21 day fast. And I encourage you guys, once those 21 days are over, not to stop. Not You necessarily aren't going to continue doing your fast, but to make sure to have time with God and to read your word and to do your devotions and set that time aside where you're not going to have all the distractions of the world beating down, keeping you busy, making you go all different directions and not having peace. Let's go ahead and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for today. I thank you, Lord, that this is a day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. I thank you for everybody who's watching, Father God, whatever's going on in their world. We know how busy life can be. I just pray that you give them that time, that one-on-one -on -one time with you without any distractions, where they can hear and listen to your voice and your guidance and your direction. I thank you, Lord that there are breakthroughs that are happening already during this fast and that there are more breakthroughs to come. I just ask in Jesus' name to give us the strength to do what we have to do and, and to put you first in our lives. We love you and we praise you. Amen. Thank you guys for joining us. Have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you soon.